Hey, what's going on, you guys? Today we are making carne guisada. Carne guisada is, to me, the ultimate beef stew. It's a Latin American style beef stew with lots of interesting flavors and ingredients. Uh, we make a lot of beef stew here in the US, but uh, if you're looking for a version that really brings that flavor to a whole new, interesting, amazing level, this is a recipe you gotta try. So uh, let me show you how to make it. Okay, so to make carne guisada, I've got my cooking station all set up with all of my ingredients here. And the first thing you want to do is we're going to season some beef. I have a little over two pounds of beef chuck that I've cut into cubes, sort of bite-sized pieces, maybe an inch, inch and a half. And you can make them larger if you want to. The, the type of beef actually for this, it's good to use a good stew beef because we're going to cook this low and slow and everything breaks down and gets super tender that way. Uh, but you can use other cuts of beef if you want to. And the first thing we're going to do here is go ahead and season with adobo seasoning. I have a, a tablespoon of adobo seasoning. And adobo seasoning is, it's kind of like uh, seasoned salt uh, for Latin American cuisine. It's uh, uh, really used all over the place. Um, ingredients will vary a little bit based on the different parts of Latin America. I have a lot of information on that on the website. And you can check out uh, how to make your own homemade version or you can buy your own favorite blend. Um, but for mine, it's really a focus on oregano, onion, garlic, um, white pepper, and I use paprika in mine, but this is your own personal taste. Also some salt and pepper to, to taste. Get it nicely seasoned. All right, get that all mixed up. All right, seasoned up the beef. So next I've got my pot here. This is a one pot dish, so everything's in one, one pot. Uh, Go ahead and get your large pot set up to a good medium heat, so medium high heat. I'm going to add some olive oil, get it nicely coated bottom of the pan. And we're going to go ahead and sear the meat. And I'm going to do this in small batches because I don't want to overcrowd the pan. Ooh, get a nice sear on these. Listen to that sizzle. And you really only need uh, a few minutes per side to get a nice brown sear. And that's gonna go ahead and seal in the juices and make this dish a lot more flavorful. All right, get these flipped here and they're nice and brown. So I'm gonna move these onto a plate, set the meat aside like so. All right, set that aside and let the pan heat up again. All right, let's go ahead and add the rest of the meat. Get a nice sear. All right, now the meat set aside here onto a plate. And keeping your uh, pot nice and hot, you can add a little more olive oil if you need to. And next we're gonna go ahead and cook down some veg. I'm gonna add uh, a good size onion that's been chopped. And I have a uh, medium sized bell pepper. You can use other peppers at this point if you want. Like sometimes I'll add jalapeno or serrano if I want some, some heat. And also we have sofrito. So I have a quarter cup of sofrito. And sofrito is another one of those uh, Latin American ingredients. It's, it's uh, widely used in Latin American cuisine. Um, the thing is, it, it actually varies a bit from region to region. And uh, mine's a little bit more like uh, Puerto Rican style sofrito. So uh, I have some bell pepper in there, some ahi chilies. I have onions, some cilantro, culantro, a little garlic. Um, I add tomato to mine. Not everybody adds tomato, uh, but that's, that's something you can really customize uh, based on uh, the region that you're trying to focus on for Latin American cuisine. It's all delicious to me. All right, we're gonna go ahead and cook this down for about five minutes or so to soften up the vegetables and build some flavor base. All right, this is softening up nicely. So next we'll add some garlic. And I have three cloves of garlic, uh, but you can use more or less to your uh, personal desire. And I'm gonna go ahead and cook this down for about 30 seconds or so until, uh, you know, you can smell the gorgeous garlic blooming in the room. Yes, I love garlic. All right. All right, so next we have some seasonings. Uh, I just have some oregano here. I've got a tablespoon of oregano and salt and pepper to taste. I like a lot of pepper. 
black pepper, yum. Get this all mixed up here. All right, and I have eight ounces of tomato sauce. I'm gonna add this. And I have a half a cup, four ounces of water. Thin this out a touch. And I have some achiote oil, uh, about a tablespoon. Add a lot of flavor there. I also have a half cup of olives with a little bit of the juices. Um, you can use more olives if you want to. Um, I personally love extra olives in mine. And capers, I have a, about a tablespoon or so. Gonna give some brininess, yum. Into the pot. I'm gonna stir this up here. And go ahead and add the meat back to the pan. I'm gonna tuck that all in there. All right. This is a nice and meaty stew. Talk about beef stew. Beef, yes. All right, get this all mixed. The meat will release a little bit of liquid as it's cooking. So you'll get more liquid in here. But if you think you need more, more water or more tomato sauce, you can add more in at this point and make it a little bit more saucy, more stewy. Uh, totally up to you. It's really customizable that way. All right, got that in there. And I have some bay leaves. I'm just gonna toss in some bay leaves like so. And I'm gonna reduce this a little. I'm gonna let this simmer for a good 30 minutes and then we will come back and uh, continue cooking. All right, while the carne guisada is simmering, I do want to reiterate uh, a couple of important things really about the ingredients. Um, two very important ingredients here are the adobo seasoning and the sofrito. And those are fairly customizable really depending on the region where you're kind of trying to focus on. Um, the, uh, the ingredients can really vary from cook to cook or from place to place. So if you really want to learn more about those ingredients, check out the website. I've got all lots of information on both of those, but you can check out videos for adobo seasoning and also my video for sofrito. Also, let's talk about heat factor. So this particular recipe isn't necessarily meant to be hot. Um, but it is meant to be spicy, there are lots of spices, just not all hot spices. But uh, for you as a chili head, I mean, you guys can really add in other spicy seasonings if you'd like to. So you can add hotter peppers in while you're cooking down your original base. You can add it to your sofrito if you want to. Uh, you can add spicy chili flakes, and you can also add hot sauce as desired. So uh, make it as spicy as you want to, guys. All right, the beef stew has been simmering for a good 30 minutes. So next we're gonna go ahead and add some vegetables. Here I have, uh, it's root vegetables, I have a pound of potatoes. And uh, this is, these are yellow potatoes that I diced into like bite-sized pieces. And I have a large carrot. And uh, you can feel free to use other root veg here. Um, you know, really to your personal preference. Uh, something like rutabaga would be great here, parsnip. Uh, you know, pretty much anything you want, but uh, this is kind of more, more traditional. So I'm gonna go ahead and mix these in, like so. And I'm gonna go ahead and cover. And uh, this is our second simmer, so I'm gonna let this simmer for another 30 minutes, uh, or really until uh, the vegetables soften up and the meat gets nice and tender. All right, let's take a look. Oh yes, look at that. It smells amazing in here, yes, yum. It's tasting time. Ooh. Mm. Yum, that is seriously delicious. I love this recipe, very hearty. Carne guisada, my friends. I hope you love it as much as I do. It's beef stew extraordinaire with lots of flavor. So I'd love to hear what you think in the comments below. Um, but hey, if you're looking for more uh, stew one pot dishes, First, you gotta try my carne adobada. That one is huge on flavor. I just love it. It's a favorite around here. Uh, or another favorite we have is, you gotta try my green chili stew. It, that was just amazing, amazing flavor. I think you'll love it. So, uh, all right, I hope to see you in the kitchen next time. Mike from Chili Pepper Madness. Bye.